Ah, what am I sparring partner? Baldy James. Yeah, I see you on the, you made a video there while ago. But you can't do nothing about JJ and Paddy. You probably can't do nothing about them. No. But that's not their first time to mention your name. I'm not saying Paddy. JJ there about two months ago, one thing again. James Quinn, James Quinn knocked you out, James Quinn knocked you out. We were at the one thing yesterday, James Quinn is the man. Well, you were, on the, you were the man that day, James. You won your fight that day, just about, James. Just about, my friend. And you know that and I know that, and the whole world knows that. And you're dead right. It will not go on longer this time, no. Oh, no, you go, one, two, one, two, three. We can all one, two, three. I'm not awake, Austin. I, I'm 50 years of age, you're 50 years old. I'm, I'm 16, 17 stone weight, you're 16, 17 stone weight. It'll probably go on maybe eight or nine minutes, James. Simple as that. And I know you, James. You can give all but take fucking nothing. Take nothing. That's the way you were always, James. You could you could give it all day long, but you could take nothing. Simple as that. I am knocking you for the last twenty years to fight me, you won't fight me. Twenty long years I sent for you three or four different times, James, and you won't fight me. Thank you very much, James. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. It was one rematch with you, win, lose, or draw. That's all I want. We fixed the date for the 12th of December. Now that day is familiar with you, isn't it? You should know what that day is. That's the day that I turned the head of you out, out in the wood. I walked away with not one scar, only a bit of a scar. However, I got caught myself against the ground. You walked away. You know, imagine you got hit with a bus, James. That was from me. You said you bet me in the best day ever I was. Oh, James, my friend, that was the worst day I ever was in my life. And that's what I don't tell my worst day, James. I'm a different man completely now. Oh, I'm a bit older, but so are you. I won't be as fast, James, to get out of the way. But I won't be wanting to get an hour anywhere. I'm mean, coming into you, James, this time. As simple as that. I know the way you fight, James. I know what you're. I know what you are. You said you're gonna knife me. Can you get me? So why would you want to knife me, James? Why would you want to knife me if you want to fight me? That's more, bro. You're not gonna kill a man. Jesus Christ, you don't do that. You want to show you kill me, then you won't get your fight, James. I'm on your back. Oh no, I'm not on your back, James. I'm in your head, James. Because you were never, you were always in fear after that. You'd fight anybody in the world. Again, I get a bit older, you're a fitter man than me. I have a few in injuries, but what can I do with that? I have to live with him. You've done. And you think this is why you're going to bet me. Well, you're not going to. You probably will bet me, you probably might not. Now, we fight for no money the last time. And there'll be no money this time, James. If you're a gentleman, a true gentleman, and a true sportsman, you'll fight me for the crack of it. Simple as that. Because I'm not a man of money, you probably are a man of money, I don't know. You're on television, it's your knuckle, this, the whole lot. You'll probably make money out of that, honey. You challenged me this morning. That's no problem. I will give you the date, the 12th of December, James. That rings a bell. Think back, I don't know how long ago, it was 23, 24 years ago, we fight on the 12th of December. That's about three months or four months from now, James. And me and you will get ahead on. Now. Forget about your knife, and you're going to knife me when you see me. Knife me if you want to. I didn't bring your name into the James. Them two books, them two books, they brought your name into me. And there, read the papers in the next couple of days. Go on.